iPhone SE iOS 11.1 has been released. Let's check it out in this video in this iPhone SE iOS 11.1 review coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and iOS 11.1 has been released for the iPhone. Here we're taking a look at the SE. You can see the build number comes in at 15B5066F. So a long build number there signifying there's probably gonna be a couple more releases. 2006 on the single core here for iOS 11 Gold Master and 4380 on the multi-core. Now I did have about 2.77 gigabytes capacity before this update and I downloaded 1.92 gigabytes for this developer beta so that's the download size here so i did actually lose a little bit space when i did update you can see 2.54 gigabytes now available so that's a little bit less than 2.77 and just generally when you get into this you'll notice the control center and notifications are much more buttery smooth in 11.5 or 11.1 than the prior version also just generally scrolling through the operating system also seems to be much smoother than the prior versions and specifically you're going to notice this in animations when you are opening applications it's starting to look like what we expect an se to do or any other iphone to do and this version is going to be available on the iphone 7 the 7 plus the 6s plus we might cover a couple of other devices on the channel with 11.1 so go ahead and comment down below if you like to see that but the fingerprint scanner animation is much faster as well it just looks a little bit snappier when you're going into your device so for those of you who've been looking for ios 10 day performance it's coming soon for your iPhone just give Apple a little bit of time to get the software updated it looks like it's gonna do pretty well here going forward for iOS 11 so let's go ahead now and run another Geekbench here on the newer version of iOS 11.1 here and you can see we get a total score of 25 22 on the single core so it's just crushing the prior version and 44 06 on the multi so not too much better on the multi but killing it on the single core which is a good sign for app efficiency so also in quick type you do have the ability now to see three suggested emojis when you do type out words which is nice so if i put smile here you're going to see these new emojis just three different icons never before in an iphone now also they did take away the vibrational feedback if you do miss the passcode unlock and apple pay to pay is not here for the iPhone. So overall, that's pretty much it here for iOS 11.1. Now, if you do have any other iPhones, these new features are about the same and also the fluidity has improved across the board on all of my iOS devices so far. So if you found this video helpful, enjoyable, do me a favor, go ahead and click the like button for me and subscribe to the channel for new videos coming soon. And I got some iPhone 8 Plus coming as well. So catch you all on the next one. Nick here, be sure to be well and peace.